The Tibetan fox looks like someone tried to draw it from memory. Wait, tried to draw a generic fox or this specific fox from memory? <laughs> Either way, come on, look at that cutie. Live every day like your 2001 Nicole Kidman leaving her lawyer's office after divorcing Tom Cruise. Wow, okay. Yup, he totally said that, guys. Being an adult means not having your bed pushed up against a corner. That is literally the only criteria. Yeah, I can't remember the last time my bed was in a corner. Humanity is moving forward. British man creates app that filters out all Kardashian news. Careful, he's a hero. God damn, it, what year is it? Why are we still even referencing them? It has come to my attention that some of you don't know my English teacher in high school was my own father, or didn't know rather. On the first day of classes, he said, I want you all to know I'm only sleeping with one of your mothers. This is my villain origin story. And also really, really weird. That's just so weird. If true, I don't fully believe you, but wow. I went to the bar in my scrubs last night, and this dude paid for my tab because I thought I was a nurse during a pandemic. Sir, I laser booty holes for a living and we thank you for your service. What's the problem? The fact that homeowners associations exist is wild to me. You buy an entire house and some lady a couple doors down can tell you that you're not allowed to display your antique frog statuette and you have to pay a fine? Insane. Oh, dude, it gets a lot worse than that. They can steal your goddamn house from you depending on how bad the homeowners association is. They can also get you arrested. I often daydream about winning the Powerball and buying the licensing rights to friends, just to edit out the laugh tracks, then releasing it back to the public for free so everyone can finally understand how unfunny that show is. You know, it's so funny whenever people lose their minds about friends not being funny. Because yeah, comedy's subjective, all of art is, but Friends is funny. It's one of the most popular shows ever created for a reason. <laughs> And it's not because of David Schwimmer, despite, you know, what the world will tell you. <laughs> it's great. Pick on friends, but none of the other ones, right? It just, it bugs the shit out of me, man. It's so weird. It's so weird, dude. Yes, your opinion is super good. You don't like friends. Congrats. I'm going to get you a trophy. Therapist, have you ever had a job? Me? I once worked at a zoo. Great. And what did you take from that? Definitely not a penguin. What? What? They stole a penguin, guys. People who are allergic to peanuts. I can't. It'll kill me. People who are allergic to gluten. I can't. It'll wreck my body. People who are lactose intolerant. Humans cannot achieve immortality anyway. And life not lived to the fullest is no life at all. Hand me a gallon of milk. No, 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 no. Not milk. It's all about the cheese, all right? Give me the cheese. Gonna be honest, this new widget design looks like an app for a membership only human trafficking gentlemen's club headquartered in Budapest. This happened that long ago already? I mean, not like it's 2018. It just feels like forever ago that that dipshit destroyed some of the best branding ever created. Wanted, piano lesson. Hi, I'm Michael, and I need to learn how to play the piano before Saturday. My parents have been paying for me to get piano lessons every week for the last 30 years, but I never actually attended any of the lessons, and I spent the money on candles instead. Now they want me to play Beethoven's Fifth Symphony at their wedding anniversary on Saturday. Well, damn. If you can teach me, be here tomorrow at 11.06 a.m. with a grand piano. I'm a fast learner. Well, I once memorized the lyrics to whatever that is in less than eight hours, so I'm pretty sure I'll pick it up quickly. In return, I can teach you some cool wrestling moves or tell you some facts about helicopters. Whichever you prefer. Not both, though. Well, screw you, dude. Some people have resting bitch face. Adam Driver has resting professor of the... professor of theology? Listening to his students present a report on religious symbolism in medieval art that they copied off of Wikipedia face. Oh, Okay, um, sure. I'm glad you see that, I guess. Burglar, points gun at me. All right, buddy, just show me where your valuables are and I won't hurt you. Me? <laughs> sure thing, dude. Alexa, call the police! Shuffling songs by the police. Roxanne plays as I get shot 16 times. Damn, they waited that long to just kill you? At some point, every straight man has to choose between making fun of astrology or getting laid. I Sure, man. Data gamer guy. He ain't cheating or whining. He's sitting his ass on the couch being a virtual cowboy and riding around on a horse named John Bond Pony. Ooh, that's a good name. I'm gonna steal that. If Thanos Snap, or Thanosis's Snap, killed 50% of all life, that means that the survivors would have lost 50% of their gut biomes in an instant and spent the next few months power blasting their bathrooms with diarrhea. In this essay, I will, you know, never thought about it that way, did ya? I'll never understand people who think hockey is boring. 
There's these six foot five giants on knife shoes moving around at 70 miles per hour. They're equipped with a giant weapon, and sometimes they punch each other. How is that boring? Yeah, I gotta say, if you don't like hockey or at least find it mildly entertaining, but you watch football or American football, for that matter, come on! Last night, Corona led me down a YouTube rabbit hole, and I ended up watching a video of an Australian cheesemaker making Parmesan. He starts his videos by saying, G'day, kid Neds, and all the comments are Italians telling him to go f himself. Gen Z will drink one medium caramel latte, not eat a single thing till 4 p.m., verbally abuse a racist, crack a joke about their mental health, and pick up a tear gas canister with their bare hands, but get nervous when they have to call to make a doctor's appointment. Dude, calling people sucks, okay? I'm not Gen Z necessarily, but still. Girls are hornier than boys. Have you ever seen a heterosexual couple at a party? And the girl's like, babe, please, it's 1 a.m., can we go home and bone? And the guy's like, one sec, babe. Me and the boys are arguing over our rankings of all the Coen Brothers movies. So he's gay? I bet if they made Ratatouille 2, it would have been like Ratatouille International, and they would have entered a cookery contest and met chefs from around the world. But they all had different rats in their hats, like a sushi rat and a Guy Fieri rat and a Germany rat called Ratwurst. Or Rotwurst. <laughs> you know what? You might have been onto something there. 2009, Global Recession. 2022, Global Recession. If I had a nickel for every time an Avatar movie came out, Modern Warfare 2 came out, and a global recession happened, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. I guess? Uh, anyway, my coworker said Billie Eilish makes music for girls who call themselves psycho, but are too afraid to ask for extra ketchup in a restaurant. I'm not like the other girls. Renting and returning 10 books a day from my local library while subtly increasing the size of my cranium with latex and makeup until they say something. You know, that does make me curious. How long would it actually be before they mentioned a damn thing? Like, truly. Parents at restaurant, it's our son's seventh birthday. Group of six Adderall addicted chain smokers who all have sex with each other and haven't slept in 24 hours, stop rolling silverware, and start clapping! Happy birthday! I wish I could Google search my own mind and just type in stuff like, what are my favorite movies? Or, what was the name of the place with the really good egg rolls? Back when I was a kid, I didn't need Joe Rogan. Your best friend had a 27-year-old brother who was a loser who would smoke pot in a room with blacklight posters and tell you that the Mayans invented cell phones. Yeah, and he didn't make enough money, unfortunately, so now we've got that dork. It's Catholic canon, and in the Garden of Gethsemane, Gethsemane? Gethsemane, see an enemy, Jesus Christ saw every sin committed by human beings, which means that he watched a guy blasting rope to Waluigi hentai and still decided to sacrifice himself for humanity. Absolute legend. <laughs> Oh, man. I I'm sorry. That's part of the story I don't believe, because truly, truly, if he really saw it all, he'd have killed himself. Yeah, so the Italians sent a Welsh dude to kill snakes in Ireland, and now the cops in America wear Scottish kilts and play Scottish bagpipes in a big parade about alcoholism. Well... I wonder how many of them are actually of Scottish descent at the very least. I'm begging y'all to remember that you're naming people, not babies. A 17-year-old will have that name, a 28-year-old will, a 43-year-old, a 77-year-old grandparent will have that name. Maybe we should rethink choosing McKensley Grayson. Yes, I'm shaming. Wanting a less common name is cool, but naming your kid KitchenAid Whiskey Jones is borderline abuse. Uh, in instances like that, I wouldn't say borderline. I wouldn't, okay? My name is totally fine in the long run, and yet I was still mercilessly mocked. Up to this point, people still make fun of me in public who, you know, take my order at Taco Bell, and they make a Batman joke or a Winnie the Pooh joke or something like that, all right? That screwed me up enough, okay? I can't even imagine what being named whatever the hell Elon Musk's kid's name is is going to... I, I can't imagine what that's going to do to him, okay? I just can't. It's ridiculous. Quit naming your goddamn children weird, stupid shit. Also, no anime names, bro. Knock it off. My worst nightmare is Spotify randomly throwing out an Ed Sheeran song whilst I'm driving, and then I crash and die, but it keeps playing. So the first responders think I was an Ed Sheeran fan, and they tell my mom, and I end up being cremated to f***ing Shape of You. Your mom, your mom would know. She knows just fine, right? She, she also knows that you're watching, and that you're gonna absolutely kill her again when she gets to you. American Badgers look like they're about to drag you into a back alley and pull a shiv on you to demand money for their habit. European badgers look like they're about to invite you over for a cup of tea and some custard creams at their little cottage in the countryside. Facial hair gone. For now. 
Let the jokes fly. You look like the black student they put on university brochures to show diversity. You know? You're really, really, really right. I don't know why. Some of you were never the third friend that had to walk behind when the sidewalk is too narrow, and it shows. Duh, I was always that friend. This time of year, I grab weeds while I'm walking my dog and weave them into little wreaths that I can leave around the neighborhood, specifically because there's a woman on next door who is furious because she thinks they're signs of witchcraft. I encourage you to do the same. Pangolins are cute because they always look like they're about to hesitantly present some bad news to their sovereign lord. Pardon me, sire, my liege, if I may. The prisoners, they've, well, they've escaped. They do look nervous, don't they? Sex is cool, but have you ever made a joke at a dinner party that bombed and you felt bad, but the host of the party pulled you aside later and said it wasn't your fault the joke bombed, it's just that Kate's brother died in a skiing accident, so skiing jokes are off bounds? Probably could have given the clown a warning. Ten million dollars right now in your hand, but there's a catch. A snail is chasing you for the rest of your life, and if it touches you, you die a terrible death. The snail cannot be killed, it knows your location at all times, its only purpose is to find you. You taking the money? Ten million, that's it? Dude, I have a permanent for the rest of my life assassin. Absolutely not. Make it a billion. Make it a cool billion for me, because that way I can hire full-time snail bodyguards. Because you didn't say that I could imprison it. I can't kill it, but I can hire people to shove it in a box and bury it in the bedrock. Okay, sure, it'll still get out eventually, I'm sure. But, you know, every woman's biggest nightmare is late marriage. Mine's sitting on a toilet and a hidden snake attacks my vagina, but okay. The year is 1888. Me, the first paleontologist to dig up a triceratops skull, whispering softly. What the fuck? What the f- What the f- It's crazy that they only figured out tectonic plates in the 60s. A child in the 50s would say, It seems like South America and Africa would fit together. And his mom would go, That's cute, honey. Would you like a cigarette? Me? Hello. I would like some spinach. Just a normal amount for a normal person. Grocery store? Yeah, right. Bet you love spinach, you little spinach freak. Here's a frickin' brick of it. A literal bathtub full. You have three days to eat it all before it goes bad. Why isn't more realistic? Like, why isn't there one with a husband and wife, the wife chokes violently on her spit, and the husband gets alarmed, and they spend a good five minutes with her coughing and sm and him smacking her on the back, and then the mood is gone, so they go get donuts. Normal people. I met this guy. He was average. Victorian writers. He was, in the way of most men, possessed of a rudimentary intelligence. His countenance ordinary, his bearing mild, with some weakness about the shoulders. His hair, the color of ash. He spoke of the weather. I mean, if you're writing, and I'm reading your book, and I read something like, I met this guy, he was average, you're a terrible, terrible writer. Although, the Victorian writer's prose is quite goddamn purple, I must say. American sports fans, defense, defense! British sports fans, all right, lads, I've just worked up a song to the tune of Debussy's, Debussy's, Claire de Lune about an opposing player's drunk driving charge. I'll count us off. Elon Musk is a 50-year-old man with more money than God, and he spends his time spamming nine gag memes on Twitter because he got dumped by a girl that looks like she would shoplift plastic bongs from Spencer's. He has the same origin story as Knuckles the Echidna and refuses to pay taxes, and when he gets called out for it, he'll pull some stunt like, if the government can give me a detailed plan of what they'll use the money for by 420, I'll sell 69 shares of Tesla stock. Like, he's the smosh version of the Joker, and he'll probably get away with taking over Mars because that weird dude you know who hasn't upgraded his personality since 2011 and talks about the Death Star having contractors on it when it blew up like it was a real event will see this sh and go epic win. Can you do sentences, please? Also, that guy at the end you mentioned, are you just talking about Randall from Clerks? Is that what you're talking about? You weirdo! Honestly, who the hell actually likes sparkling water? That shit tastes like TV static. I mean, for a very short period of time, it was helping me not drink as much, but it only lasted so long. Community college was so crazy. I was 16 years old, and my partner for public speaking class was a 38-year-old ex-felon, and we were straight-up besties. Happy three-year anniversary to working at a coffee shop at 6 a.m., and my first customer was this lady in a fox costume on her way to surprise chase her daughter, who was afraid of mascots. Down the street in Chicago. So you met the coolest person of all time? They offer you $80 an hour to clean the cemetery alone, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. You taking the job? You, what? You think I'm gonna refuse that? I'm making sure each one of those tombs are spotless with the finest holy water. Annabelle trying to visit her friend? Aisle 6, row 3, bro. Might get haunted, but I'm leaving each shift in a Bentley with Casper and his homies in the back. Elon Musk's mom looks like she's about to tell you that we all must sacrifice 
sacrifice to preserve the Zeppelin that's the last surviving holdout of humanity in the skies above a ravaged Earth. And it's a sad fact that you have become dead weight. I don't know. Maybe a society where billionaires have enough money lying around to start space programs and control communication while people starve and ration their medicine isn't the best system. But they worked so hard, it only takes three generations for you to be basically forgotten. Tell that to my great uncle, who's the reason that it's illegal to drive a tractor while drunk in the state of Kansas. Wait, is there a full fun story behind that? Because I'd like to hear it. I feel personally attacked. Happily married to my five foot five king for eight years while y'all are getting ghosted by six foot two alcoholics with seventh grade reading levels, but go off about how you only date tall men, I guess. Yeah, that dude is absolutely living his best life. She is too. But, you know, maybe you shouldn't f about height so much. Totally loving Taylor Swift's suit, which is designed to break up her shape against the background, thereby making it difficult for German U-boats to calculate her range, speed, and direction. She is pretty smart. Who knows what this is? A teachable moment for an overly curious child in a car alone. Valorant, I need help. Look, Ida told Alex she won't date anyone below six feet. Her ex was six foot one, all right? And you're six. Next time you're with her, casually mention that you're six foot one. Then I send Nicholas to talk to her. All right, here we go. The plan is now officially set in motion. We send Nicholas to talk to her. He's 5'11", but he tells her he's six foot casually. She gets used to the idea of what six foot looks like. Then I send Charles to meet her. She already thinks 5'11 is six, and she won't be able to differentiate between 11 and 10. Charles tells her he's six foot as well. She gets used to five foot 10, and then I go in. She can't know much difference between 10 and nine, but I come off as a strong six, bro. I've talked to Nicholas and Charles already. You just send her a message. What? That is a hell of a plan. I hope it works out for you, my friend. Republicans like to make fun of the fact that I used to be a waitress. But we all know if they ever had to do a double, they'd be the ones found crying in the walk-in fridge halfway through their first shift because someone yelled at them for bringing them seltzer when they wanted sparkling. Yeah, I gotta say, her job is probably harder than every single seat in Congress. I mean, seriously, everyone's autistic now. Okay. My single 63-year-old neighbor with $1.2 million worth of model trains in his basement, who wrote a 90-page letter to the city about the brightness of streetlights when I was growing up, was just a regular guy then. That sounds pretty normal to me. I refuse to believe men being unable to find the clitoris is actually a thing. You open it up and it's right there, like a video game boss critical hit zone. Huh. Never heard it described like that. People from Wyoming are in my mentions insulting me for dissing their state yesterday. And I'm just imagining them furiously riding a horse to a McDonald's in Utah just so they could get the Wi-Fi to tweet at me. I love when customers say compliments to the chef. Like, sir, we don't have a chef. That's Tyler back there. He's 19, stoned out of his mind, and been cooking for three weeks. But I'll let him know. I'm sure that he will appreciate it.